Hello everyone, and welcome to another exciting episode of... Wakai Tech Center! Today we're going to find out how you can create your own virtual yearbook using Google Forms. Alright, so we're going to start things out on Google's main page. I'm going to navigate over to the nine little dots over there, which signify Google Apps. Scroll down until you find the app called Forms. Click on that, and we are going to start with a new blank form. And in the title, let's say this is Dave Jerebex 2020 Virtual Yearbook. And that's going to auto-populate the title of your form, too. So let's make this first one name and it automatically changes it to short answer because you don't want <laughs> a really long paragraph sitting there for a name. We're going to make that required. Let's add in another one. Please sign my virtual yearbook. And we can have it be paragraph for that one. Let's make that required as well. For the next category, this is where it gets really cool. Um, you can make a file upload section. So, um, let's just title this Pictures or Movies. So if somebody is filling this out with their phone, they would be able to upload maybe some pictures of you and them or some movies of you guys together this past school year. And you can allow specific file types. Let's just do video, image, and audio. And we can even set it to 10 pictures that they can share. Um, most images probably shouldn't be over 25 megabytes, they'll probably even be far less than that, but um, movies is where you're going to run into some potential problems if they're very large files, and it's not going to be required. So, let's just do some more customization with this. So if we look at the art palette up here, I really like green, and I want my background color to be a little bit darker. You can do all this stuff. If you want to have an image for your header, maybe it's a picture of you, that might be kind of cool too. You guys are free to customize this as much as you want. And then if you just want to test it out, see what it's going to look like when you send this to people, this is what it's going to look like, which is pretty cool. And let's go back to it. Last step, you're going to hit send. And if you want to collect the respondent's email address too, if you think some people might goof around with it, you can see who actually submitted that. And then this is where you would enter in all of your friends and your teachers or any other Winnet County staff member email that you want to fill out your yearbook. That's basically it. And then once you hit send, you'll start getting responses back. And it looks like I have a few here already from some very special people, my family. And if I scroll down, I can see some of the pictures that they included too. And it's going to be in a special folder in my own Google Drive. So from this point, you can either leave things here, or you can start to take these pictures, put them in a Google Doc along with your friends' and teachers' comments, and print off your own little insert that could be placed in your physical yearbook. You don't necessarily have to do that now. That could be something you do in the future. Please let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Take care, everybody. Bye.